Hey guys, welcome up to season six, episode fifteen of Grey's Anatomy. Here we go. I've seen a lot of surgery residents come and go in my time, and they're all addicted to surgery. It comes before food, before sleep. It becomes the most important thing. What? You look nice. Go away. The only thing. What they don't know is that living on that high. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna hurl again! Please don't, because I just got the last of the puke out of your hair. Why do I have to do this? I'm not a public speaker, it's not my thing. I hate direction. Oh, All you have to god. do is talk about being a great surgeon to a giant room full of people. They survive with their sanity intact. They become better doctors and stronger people. I am 45 days sober today. I'm Richard, and I am a grateful and recovering alcoholic. You want me to come work under you? Yes, that's the stipulation. Thanks for the offer, but no. I'll figure something else out. Damn. I'm excited. Are you excited? <sighs> this is a, a teaching hospital. Lecture we day. learn a lot by doing. We can also learn, we should also learn from other people's experiences. Their losses will save you losses. They're... Let's pay close attention. This is going to be good. Dr. Miranda Bailey. Yeah. This is, this hospital has the stupidest name. Seattle Grace Mercy Hi, West Hospital. Are. Come on. Simplify that. Morning, Dr. Yang. What do you do? If I have to stand here, you have to listen. You get a chocolate, doze off, you get beamed in the face. As Dr. Yang, my aim is exceptional. <laughs> 2003. Anyone? Alicia Tatum, status post ophorectomy three months ago, now presents with fever and non focal abdominal pain. Would you recommend we do it open or laparoscopically? Laparoscopically. Uh, who said that? Who said that? Oh my god. Sure. <laughs> you. <laughs> Look uh, at that yeah. styling. That's what you're going with? Draw blood. I, I just wanted. You don't have wants or needs. You're an intern. The bottom of the surgical food chain. I am a resident. I've been here three years. You've been here three days. Do the math. Draw her blood. She's shaking. Oh, well, she's doing her pee dance. She does that when she has to pee. Oh, no. Well, is she going to pee right now? Mm. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's, that's not the right. In my third year as a resident, I was presented with a patient named Sunder. That's Lori, a 28 year old grad. Oh, my. Student from India. Uh, hey. You have to put me on this case. Um, here's a news flash. A really enthusiastic intern guy. I don't have to do anything. Oh, come on. You seem like a cool person. You don't know me. Well, you look like a cool person. Ever since the elevator thing, heart guy, it's just... Wait, that was you? You're the heart in the elevator guy? Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Maybe my unbelievable skill under pressure transform me completely. Hmm, did it? Does that turn you on? No, but this does. Wowzers. Once upon a time, long before I was chief of surgery, even before I was an attending, I was a resident right here at Seattle Grace. But you don't realize how much you learn from each other. 1982. Oh my God. Feel the chart on 2314? Nothing's grown out of the cultures. I checked them this morning, sir. I went to the lab myself. So, Dr. Russell, is he still febrile? Where is it? He's here for hernia surgery. What's happening? This is no job oh for a nurse. I'll take it from him. You know Sarah Paulson! What the fuck? Shit! Clear. 
Dr. Ellis Gray. No Two time way! Avery Award winner and my colleague on this case. Oh my god! The case that changed my life. The biggest influences in your life are sitting next to you. Right now. Oh my... That's insane. This man came in for simple hernia repair and is getting sicker instead of better. You people better figure out why and fast. This is just you and me, kid. Surprise, surprise. Oh, crap. <laughs> Come on. Just talk. Hmm? Just tell us what happened. Okay. You told him he could walk? Yes. I was in the Peace Corps. I've seen polio. I've studied the procedures. You're privileged. Sir? And that privilege made you arrogant. And arrogance in an unseasoned surgeon is a very dangerous thing. Sir, I didn't make this promise lightly. I can do this. Did you promise him you'll try or did you promise him you'll walk? Oh. 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 Anemia? What a Not casting. Is there any hematuria? No, but there was some yeast in his urine. Contaminant. She's a phenomenal actress. Just a bad blood draw. American Horror Story. That doesn't seem right. Oh my. The yeast. I think I got it. Single most important step in the treatment process. Lab and radiology evaluation. Oh, oh, come on, people, now you're embarrassing me. Patient history. Thank you, catch. There isn't much information, but there are a lot of gall signs. Dr. Bell, what causes gall signs? High fat diets are a huge contributor. Yes, fatty foods and. Oh, she's vegan. Her ex boyfriend, who broke up with her after her last surgery, was a vegan chef. Well, that's quite a history you have there, Doctor. Dr. Bill, the intern's doing a hell of a job. <laughs> Listen, you little moppet. You pay me after draw like that in front of the chief again, and I will end you. <laughs> it is up to me. <laughs> We're not allowed to beat you with sticks. So we punish you with scut. Dr. Gray and I did mountains of scut. Mm -hmm. Testing tissue samples was boring. <laughs> That's how we found out our patient had a fungus called Cryptococcus. We asked his girlfriend to step out because we knew we were gonna have to ask some pretty uncomfortable questions. We suspected he might have grid. Does anyone know what grid is? Grid? AIDS. That's right. Oh. But in 1982, it was known as gay related immune deficiency. Out of my arm! So get back into bed. You still need the antibiotics. I'll get the antibiotics elsewhere. From real doctors. I did not come here to be insulted. And don't think I won't talk to your superiors about this. Thanks. Does anyone know when the HIV retrovirus was finally discovered? Uh, 1983. But there wasn't a test for it until 85. That's right. It was so new. But even our attending didn't know how to handle it. Damn. Grid? You accused a patient in my hospital of having a disease that hasn't even been proven to exist? What were you thinking? That patient wasn't even that gay. He's threatening to sue us for slander. Good job. You're on probation. Bruh. I've been working for eight hours. Because I'm trying to be meticulous. Make sure I'm getting good compression. I think it's going to work. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure? He's got pericarditis and lung disease. He's getting on there. Successes or failures, which teaches you more? Failures. Yeah, but that was a gimme. Don't get too cocky. The patient was discharged, and a month later, she was back in the ER in the middle of the night. She had right lower quadrant pain, fever, vomiting, symptoms consistent with appendicitis. Ah, <laughs> you get a chocolate. Because that's what I thought. But don't eat it yet. Pay attention. <laughs> I diagnosed Alicia with appendicitis. Not bad, Dr. Bailey. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm glad you decided to come to Seattle, Grace. You are a strong applicant. People are excited to have you here. 
Surgery's a shark tank. Sharks have teeth. Make sure you're a shark, too. And not a minnow. Sir, are you referring to my height? No, no I'm not. God made you short. <laughs> That, unfortunately, is a perfectly healthy appendix. What? No infection, no inflammation. The whole lower right quadrant looks good. Sir. If you never get a negative appy, that means you're not doing enough appies. It's just part of the process. All right, let's check it out and get ready to close. So, we took the patient to surgery again and there. Help her. That's when we saw the dude do the thing with his foot. You know. But your lungs and heart weren't able to withstand any more time under anesthesia, so I couldn't do any more than that. I understand. When do we start again? Sunder, I'm saying I... I think we don't. Well... Now I don't understand. <laughs> you did that for me. Since I was seven, I have never been able to do that. I believe you can do the rest. Please. No surgeon likes giving up on a patient. Dr. Gray, looking beautiful as usual. Flattery will get you to an on-call room in five minutes or less. You're on. Mommy! Mommy! Look! That's supposed to be for her birthday. She was crying. She misses you. I gotta go, Fetch. Mommy, don't go! Take her. Damn. I have to go. Nerd? Kaposi's sarcoma. You're a good patient from a few months back. Handle it. Damn. A healthy appendix. The third surgery for this patient with unrelenting abdominal pain, fatigue, and muscle pain. Now what? Test for zebras. Um, I'm having disease. It's okay. It's not easy. Sometimes you have to be your patient's advocate and Where's push my to get things done. Hello, Alicia Tatum is being discharged with nothing but a oh, note for a psych counselor. She's sniffing around for pain meds. She's depressed. Is a problem? Well, yeah, months of severe untreated pain can be depressing. Okay, smarty pants. I just thought maybe we could test for lupus or... Does she um, get fired? I hope she gets fired. Hemochromatosis. We are not ordering thousands of dollars in tests. Before she goes, I thought we could test for lupus or lead poisoning or maybe... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hemochromatosis. Now you're thinking. Good work. No one knows what's causing it or how it spreads. You want me to potentially risk the health of my staff, my own life, for a guy with a death sentence? No, I'm not doing it. And I recommend you don't do it either. We took an oath. We're supposed to be healers. Ten years ago, you wouldn't have been allowed in this program. Don't you dare tell me what kind of oath we take. Ten years ago. We've hit a wall. The freaking yeah. 70s? <laughs> we planned a number of procedures. What if I quit in the elevator? What if I froze? I mean, I had every reason to freeze. I'm an intern. I never had my hand in a heart before. What was the result? Did she test positive for hemochromatosis? No. Nope. Uh, what about Lyme disease? Lyme disease. I went to the library and I hit the books. I hit him hard. I was raised to be polite. Huh? Don't raise your voice. Have respect for people higher on the picking order. Be generous to those below. I was not raised to be a shark. We were noble. We were just more arrogant than the rest. We had more to prove. Your CT showed that your bowel has twisted in on itself. Probably because of Kaposi's lesions in your abdomen. It's a pretty rare problem, but we can take care of it with surgery. <sighs> He's scared, is he? Just like that. Outside. Pointing. Mumbling. It's there. Screw them. <sighs> no one lives.
For all you know, there could be a cure for this thing tomorrow or next week. Let us operate. We spent days trying to make things right, trying to figure out the best strategy. BP just dropped in his tachycardic. Torsan's on the monitor. Oh my god, Grant's already attacking? Sounds like it. Damn 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 it. Get the scalpel. I, I can't. I'm not the heart wheel of it, guy. I was a mouth. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. We should leave them, Richard. You leave Adele, and I'll leave Thatcher. I can't. You have a daughter. I can't. And neither can you. You have a different skin color, but it turns out you're just like them. Ellis. I gave birth to a child, Richard. That makes me a mother. It doesn't make me inept. It doesn't make me less of a woman. It doesn't make me less of a surgeon. The performance is incredible. All my research didn't help. Dr. Balo sent the patient home. Mandy, I don't think I can take it anymore. Please tell me this surgery's gonna help. They're gonna find something, right? I know, you, you're here to take it to the OR, but no. Don't touch it. So you canceled your resident surgery? Isn't that a little bold? Oh, she was worried about it. adhesions, right? Give me candy. <laughs> no adhesions, no candy. Give me candy. <laughs> it wasn't bold, great, it was stupid. Yeah, rebook Miss Tatum for surgery. D D Dr. Havello, you wanted to go in and explore her obstruction. She doesn't have any signs of adhesion. Covered that along with abdominal pain. She also had a weakness, palpitations, numbness, uh, skin changes, and her urine is intermittently dark. Ringing any bells yet? Your patient, who's been sliced nine ways to Sunday, has porphyria. Yes, yes, I took out her appendix, and I, too, am at fault for not looking at the whole person. But you know the difference between you and me? I learned something from it. I learned when not to cut. I said I had her chart was because you ignored my pages, and she needs to get started on Eman right away. You put it That's how she turned into the Dr. Bailey, we motherfucking know! The patient gets better. The patient doesn't get prodded, Probed, sculpted, or cut open like a Thanksgiving turkey, you super silly as fool! Dr. Bailey! <laughs> no. These are the before, and these are the after. It was amazing. I mean, after the final surgery, we were just. And we celebrated that night. And we ever celebrate. <laughs> oh no. Oh, baby. Concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, everyone has slept with everybody. So we're gonna sit here with you wearing that terrified look on your face for a respectable amount of time so that Dr. Balo and her friends can assume you're having your behind handed to you on a platter. <laughs> you're gonna make a hell of a surgeon, Dr. Balo. Lose a smile. Well, the patient survived <laughs> the surgery, but eight months later, he came back with PCP pneumonia. God, I love that. I solemnly pledge to consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I will give to my teachers the respect and gratitude that is their due. The health of my patients will be my number one consideration. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me, even after my patient has died. I will maintain That's by all the means in my power. My colleagues will be my sisters and brothers. They did George dirty in this. They did him dirty. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life 
I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Dude, that was good. We can just ignore, though, that Ellis Gray went from brown eyes to, like, blue eyes as she aged. Drop off, we're still stands. You can't toast a dead Irishman with a soda pop, Richard. Get this man a vodka, Frankie. Oh, yeah. Come right up. You know I can't stand the taste of that stuff. It's time to learn. You were grown up, Richard. Damn. It's time to act like it. Damn. I can't leave her, Ellis. I can't. We'll see. What a casting! She is a phenomenal actress. I really... I'm, try, I'm trying to think. Have I seen her in other things? I can't remember if I have outside of American Horror Story. But man, she is the queen of American Horror Story. She kicks ass regularly, no matter what she's playing. And she's so good in that show. And it's... Uh, it's amazing to watch. Um, and then here she is kicking ass, um, in this, as Ellis Gray. And the phenomenal act, I, I say it's a great casting on the aspect of the acting. I couldn't have thought of, I probably couldn't have thought of a better person to play a role like Ellis Gray than Sarah Paulson. But, uh, however, outside of that, <laughs> they literally have different color eyes. Lit literally. Like, the older Ellis Gray, I'm, I'm, I swear she had blue eyes. Or light, light eyes, at least. Sarah Paulson has, like, brown eyes. <laughs> um, and they don't look alike at all. Like, they don't even look like an, a younger version of her. <laughs> Outside of those massive, just, unrelating aspects, uh, her playing a very, you know, no-filtered kind of bitchy person who, you know, kind of manipulates and tries to get everything her way. It's, she's good at it. She's really good at it. <laughs> she's done it many times, and that's the role that she has played before. I've seen her play stuff like that before, and she's just, she's good at it. And that's, you know, that's what I'll focus more on, even though, you know, I'm a details kind of guy, and the details were just off. They were not good, but it doesn't matter. The acting was perfect, and we're just going to ignore the details, because I enjoyed seeing her on the show. So, that's what we'll go with. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. They also did George Dirty, and I'm not getting into that because I don't want to rant. They did George Dirty. See y'all next time.